pivot table can also help you quickly obtain subtotals for a data set. Here, for example, I've brought back the, uh, the database of contributions to Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander. You might recall that I used this data set to demonstrate the subtotaling procedure in a previous video. I want to show you here how you can do subtotaling and even more with the pivot table tool in Microsoft Excel. Let's start out by doing with a pivot table what we did with the subtotaling feature in the other video. Clicking anywhere in the data set, I can choose Insert and Pivot Table, and then Pivot Table from the drop down menu. And then click OK, and I'll end up on a fresh sheet where I can build the pivot table. Remember, the goal of the earlier analysis was to find out how much in total each of those donors in the database had given to Lamar Alexander during the period covered by the database. The way to do that in a pivot table is to take the contributor name. Uh, field here and click and drag it down to the row labels box and you see I get a row over here on the left uh, for every contributor in the database and then if I take the amount which is the column where the the amount of the donations is located in the database drag that over to the values box then over in column B I get a sum of the amount of money donated to Senator Alexander by each of these sources and it's, it's just a total so right there, we've, we've done that easily and that quickly, what the subtotaling procedure was able to do. Now it's time to do even more. I can also sort the, the data that I've got here in my, sub to, in my, um, in my pivot table. It's, it's just this easy. If I click on this down arrow right here, I can choose the sort option. And then I can tell Excel to sort descending by the figure in the amount column, the sum of amount. And if I do that, then there, without any copying and pasting as you might have to do in the subtotaling procedure, I've been able to sort the data and find out uh, the, the, the top donors in the data set. We might be interested in knowing how many individual donations each of these donors gave. Sometimes donors give one big check, sometimes they give a series of smaller checks that add up to, uh, add up to an amount. In the pivot table, it's as easy as simply grabbing the amount uh, variable again and dragging it once again to the values box. And then the default, as you can see, is, is it just adds up the amounts. And we get a, a column in C that duplicates the values in column B. But if I click on this down arrow next to sum of amount down here in the values box and choose value field settings, I can change what Excel will do with that column. I can switch it, uh, for example, from giving us the sum to counting how many each individual donations there are. So I've just selected count and click OK. And now, in column C, I get a, a, a count of how many individual donations there are. So now I know, for example, that National Health Corporation Political Action Committee gave a total of $15,000 across three different donations. Now suppose I want to know more about those three different donations from National Health Corporation. One thing I could do is I could grab the date variable here and drag it down to the row labels box. And now Excel is going to show me the date on which each of those contributions was given. So now I know, for example, that National Health Corporation made two donations totaling $10,000 on September 11th, 2002, and another $5,000 donation on February 18th, 2003. And the grand total of those donations was $15,000. We can also do some uh, some filtering operations in the pivot table tool. Um, uh, down here, for example, you see that SunTrust Banks is one of uh, Senator Alexander's large donors, as, as is Bank of America. So we might want to know, well, what records, what donations come specifically from a, a political action committee that is associated with a bank somehow? So what we would want to do would, would be uh, search the data for any political action committee name that has the word bank in it. That would be a, at least a, a rough way to, to do that. We can filter here by clicking on the down arrow in the row labels column and choosing label filters. And then out of all these options, we could choose uh, contains. 
and then uh, say we want to we want to see records where the contributor name contains any form of the word bank. And if I click OK, that quickly I get all of the uh, uh, all of the donors that involve some kind of bank. Quite a few of them. You can see they total uh, they, they gave in total sixty sixty two thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, there's another way we can filter. Suppose we are interested in donors who gave more than $10,000, the, the, the truly big donors here in the database. Again, finding that little down arrow at, the, at, uh, at column A, instead of choosing label filters, I can choose value filters. And let's go with something like um, uh, greater than right here and I can specify those records for which the sum of the amount, the, the total amount given, is greater than the value we're interested in here is ten thousand dollars. So now when I click OK, Excel will filter the data to show me only those donors who gave more than ten thousand dollars. There are 28 of them and they gave a total of one hundred and ten thousand five hundred dollars during this particular period. So the thing to see here is that you can do quite a bit with a pivot table in Microsoft Excel if you have data that need to be subtotaled somehow. And furthermore, you can, you can do that, that poking around in that data. You can do it in real time just by dragging and dropping uh, variables in and out of these, uh, these boxes over here in the dialog box and pretty quickly get a good idea of, of what you're looking at in your, in your data set. Then you can go back with perhaps more refined techniques and pull out just the records that you want to look at and proceed with your analysis. But a pivot table is going to give you a, a really fast look at the data using these and, and perhaps other techniques.